So almost everyone here, with the exception of you and Michael, uh, you guys are all returning. Kiko, this is your, I think, fifth or sixth appearance. You guys, this is your second. Victoria, your third. Um, so just for you guys coming back now, uh, has anything changed since your last appearance? I believe that was about three weeks ago. You guys were last on. Any new mm -hmm. love interests or? I mean, there's always new love interests. No, I'm just kidding. No, yeah. there, I haven't. Like, I mean, there's some guys, but no, nothing new. Some guys. What do you mean? Like, obviously, there's people I see, and I'm like, oh, wow, maybe there's a potential, but no, there's nothing. Okay. Nothing for me. Because last time you were on, you mentioned that there was one guy. That I'm talking to. Is that Dunzo? Or? No, we're still talking. <laughs> still? <laughs> oh, go ahead, Michael. Look like you. When you say you're talking, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a very old man. Yeah. I'm a millennial, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I don't really, I'm not oh, totally millennials. up to date. Very yeah. old. We're, I'm <laughs> basically, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like the boomer of uh -huh. the Zoomers. Mm -hmm. Talking means more than talking. Um, like in what sense? More, like than, more than speaking to one another across a table as we are now. More than literally talking. Yeah. I mean, that's basically what we do is just talk and hang out. Okay, so it's literally you're just, but you're t in a way where you have affection for one another. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you're not dating. No. But you might date. Mm, sure, yeah. Okay. Are you guys hooking up? No. Oh, that's good. That's very virtuous. Stop the cow. Yeah. I'm not yeah. lying. All right, that's good. <clears throat> I'm not lying. We're not hooking up. I think he's scared of you, probably. Scared. You think? You, yeah, I agree I, with that. And I think you think I'm lying, but I'm not. I think these I'm days, cheerful. though, because how old are you? Sorry. I'm 19. And he's your age? Um, yeah, he is my age. I feel like these days, like younger guys, they're afraid to make the first move. Mm, yeah, that's true. I can mm. see that. But I mean, if I wanted to make a move, I would make a move. I don't. So does he want to do more? And you've said no? You've pumped the brakes? Or? <laughs> I mean, we've, we've talked about it, but like, it's not like we've, we're both enthusiastic for it. I mean, I don't really care for that right now. I just, it's for not what? like. To hook up? Yeah, to hook up. All right. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. I, man, that's awesome. I, I was under the impression that now, because of like all of talking culture, mm -hmm. that everyone just hooks up and it's all ambiguous and no one's ever officially dating and it's all kind there of There is a There's lot, a lot of, that. of that. There's a lot there of is. that. You're just not doing it. I just hate it. Oh, yeah. That's great. I think it's stupid. Allegedly. It's stupid. I'm a hopeless romantic guy. <laughs> Get it through your brain. I Alleged. want romance, but I just, I'm busy with school and getting my stuff straight first. <laughs> okay. So everyone else said they were single. Pretty mm -hmm. well, except you. Um, so kind of in line with Michael's question, what does talking or being single actually mean? So you said you're single. Mm -hmm. So there's no guy in, okay. in the picture no, at all. No, single, I just mean I'm not like officially dating officially. someone. Officially, okay. Yeah. So, but you are seeing I'm somebody. I'm like dating around, yeah. What a, can you kind of... Okay, uh, so since I've been on the podcast, I've gone on a couple dates. Okay. And then I have also been... Seeing some other people. <laughs> can you, can you uh, be a That's bit so more vague. specific? Uh, there, like there is, um, I am hooking up with a guy at the moment, but then I'm also have been going on other dates for people that might be a more better match long term. So you're you're hooking up with just one guy. Mm -hmm. So not multiple guys. Mm -mm. But he's like the backup because you're more interested in these other guys that you're going on. It's not that to. I'm more interested. It's just that I feel like there's more of a relationship connection that could be there mm. on the like dates that I'm going on. You know, it's more of like dinner dates that I could see like we have more in common in career and stuff like that. Whereas this other guy I'm it's seeing. It's just like a booty call. I'm just, he's not a booty call. I'm just very attracted to him. Mm -mm. Hmm. Maybe huh. he'll <laughs> listen to this conversation and step up his game. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> well, especially if he's the only guy that you're sort of seeing in this way, then he'll definitely know you're talking about him. But so then why, why is he not long-term relationship potential? Um, because I don't think he's ready for that. He doesn't want it. I don't think so. Okay. And but I you don't. Do. Uh, no, not oh, with him. You don't want it. I mean, okay. I do. I would like a relationship at some point, but I know in my like I wouldn't want it with him not even him. though you're very attracted to him yeah but I just know he's at a point in his life where he's not ready for a relationship like he should be alone he has like mm. inner work to do I probably have inner work to do too we Can, yeah inner. can't you do that work though together well I, he did also get out of, of a relationship <laughs> oh really uh, Eric, can you have it? $200. oh $200. <clears throat> wow thank Damn. you Martin 
was in my comment last pod you were on about the tongue acrobatics that destroyed your situation ship. I'm not sorry for ruining you forever. Okay, hey Martin. Um, that by the way, that is a uh, Marquise Martin, a uh, Mensa member. We call him Mensa Martin, and he uh, he also he owns about a dozen Quiznos, Sam, on the East Coast. Did you say yeah, he owns something else? I swear. That, I, I think that was a different mm-hmm. donator. Mm-hmm. Mike Davis owns the Burger Kings. Mm. Uh, I forgot. I think uh, Cheeks owns the Arby's, yeah. and Martin owns the Quiznos. That was it. it was Cheeks. Cheeks. Yeah. Oh, cheeks. Cheeks. cheeks is the Arby's with guy. You. Mm. Martin is the Quiznos so. guy who's okay. He's gonna single-handedly um, respark that franchise. I didn't know it still existed. <laughs> is it? Is it gone? Maybe he's the holdout. I yeah, think he's the last great. Holdout. Quiznos is a great sandwich shop. I, I hope he. In yeah. In, in Texas, they have them a lot. I believe. Oh, really? So, so um, Martin, by the way, thank you so much for that uh, big two hundred dollar uh, TTS. Thank you, man. Uh, Tatum, while yeah. your sister here was telling us the story, you were kind of smiling or <laughs> making a face. So, um, do you have do you have some secrets you want to reveal? Or no secrets? I don't share my sister's secrets. So there, you are confirming though that secrets exist. In general. In general. Yeah. In general. Secrets. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know everything do about us, Brian. <laughs> Sadly, unfortunately, I'm, yeah. I'm hoping to expand my understanding. But so, can you just spill the spill the beans? What there, were you smiling about? No, it's just funny. Okay. Because like you guys don't know him, and oh. I know him. Mm-hmm. So what do you think about him? She's right. He's not boyfriend yeah, he's material. Yeah, he's not boyfriend material. Because he's just a now. he's just a disaster. He's like a mess. No, mm-hmm. he's nice. Is he hot? <laughs> It's the in my thing opinion, he's nice. No. The, he's what not makes hot. him not a boyfriend? Uh, he's material? he's attractive. I can see oh. why she thinks he's attractive. She just has high standards. She has a different type. <laughs> We've already been through that. Wait, we said this. Yes, already. high standards. We need to talk about the high standards uh, again. He's attractive, um, just not if you have high standards. Is that that seems really mean to me? I know. I we have a different type. Yeah, we well, what is a high standard here? Like, what is the definition of high standards? For me, just generally, yeah. Like, like someone what talking like about looks. Oh, like, so he's not attractive enough, but attractive enough to sleep with. Mm, I mean, she, I think he's cool for her. Am we attractive. just have different types. We like, have yeah. all, all different, different types. types. All of us have different types. I mean, I'm more general. Yeah, mm. your like, type you is general. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> either I, way. I feel like I could like people from different areas. From I'm different areas. Different yeah. So one person from Idaho, another person from <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. San Diego. Okay. Yeah. Um, so then for you two, what? <clears throat> You guys have very specific types. Mm-hmm. Mm. They do. Pretty what, much, what, yeah. what are the specific types that you guys have? Sam, do you want to say it? I feel like hers would be more, not like mm. skater boys, but like probably someone who's very tall. Scary? Wait, skater. skater. Oh, skater oh, boys. Skater. Okay. Someone who's very tall, <laughs> tall. can dress well. Um, skater boys dress like dark, well? Like darker hair. Well, th- within, okay. Darker hair, no, definitely not blondes. Um, mm. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with blondes? I don't know. <laughs> she just doesn't. <laughs> There's like nothing them. wrong with them. I just like have never really found myself attracted to a blonde. And for her, she's probably more. Sorry, like Ben. Beach. Oh, wait, boys. are you blonde? I mean, uh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and not starker. Um, so skater boy, kind of. <laughs> not like a skater boy. It doesn't have to be, but like that kind of like look. I feel like. Okay. Like bad boy type of look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but not like the conventional like bad boy. Like did got She's attention, just like really picky. but never yeah, got I don't even know what your type is, Tatum. Honestly, I don't either. You guys, I'm trying <laughs> because, to figure it out. Yeah, she. I just feel like she's very like certain people. I don't know how to explain. Yeah, it. he's got to be really well dressed, but also a bad boy, but not like a bad boy, bad boy. Yeah, he like, can't be blonde, like, and he's got to be tall. Exactly. And he's got to skate, but not be a skater. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah. 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 Okay, I got it. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. have to skate. Yeah. Okay. Does anyone at Daily Wire, like one of the hosts, do any of them have blonde hair? No. Shapiro, no. No, we're certainly not. Walsh, no. No. Uh, he's got a nice beard, though. No. Candace's husband is very blonde. <laughs> he's married. But he's taken. He's I'm married, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. You guys, yeah. She likes taking men. Taken? Oh. <laughs> That's her type. No, it's that taken, is why it's taken women. <laughs> <laughs> she likes taken women. Mm. Either taken women. But single yeah. men. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is there is there a term for that? Is that like one of the new home wrecker, maybe? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I am a home wrecker. She is a home wrecker. I home wrecked a relationship in high school. Oh, good times. <laughs> she wow. didn't mean to. Intentional? No, okay. No. It wasn't intentional. No. It was an accident. 
And she, it was a girl. So that's why I said she likes taking women. She made out with a girl and the boyfriend broke up with the girl. <laughs> In high school? Yeah. yeah. 